Abdul Aziz says, we have started the Qa'da about this month uh, of the Islamic calendar. The 11th month is called the Qa'da. He says this month includes respected months, Ashhurul Hurum. So whatever good deeds are made in this month, it gets doubled. Similar to how bad deeds get doubled. Am I right? Okay, first of all, let's do some defining. What is meant by Al-Ashhurul Hurum? Al-Ashhurul Hurum are the sacred months. In Islam, we have four sacred months. These months, beginning from the first month of the lunar or Islamic calendar, Shahrullah al-Muharram, Muharram, number one. Then number seven, Shahr, the month of Rajab. Then number 11 and 12, Dhul Qa'dah and Dhul Hijjah. These are the four sacred months. Are they mentioned in the Quran? The answer is yes. Allah Azza wa Jal says in chapter 9, Surah at tawbah verse 36, Indeed, the number of months with Allah is 12 lunar months. In the register of Allah from he, uh, uh, the day he created the heavens and the earth. Of these, four are sacred. That is the correct religion. So do not wrong yourselves during them. To the rest of the ayah. So in short, this is the ayah, ayah 36, that Allah mentioned in Surah at tawbah it stated that when Allah created the heavens and the earth since day one, Allah created it to follow 12 months. And these are the 12 lunar months. Among them, there are four sacred months, which I have just say, stated and mentioned for you. Now, the question of uh, uh, Abdul Aziz is that are these sacred months, the good deeds are doubled and the bad deeds, the sins are also doubled, the doubling process is not there. Then why are they sacred? Ah, the size of the sin is greater than the size outside of it. For example, if you sin in London differently than if you do the same sin in Mecca, Allah says, وَمَا يُرِدْ فِيهِ بِالْحَادٍ بِظُلْمٍ نُذِقْهُ مِنْ عَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ Whoever intends something that is wrong, that is sinful in Mecca, Allah Azza wa Jal will make him taste the painful torment. So when Allah prohibits something, if you do it in a place or in a time that is not sacred, definitely is worse when you do it in a sacred time or a sacred place. So if you sin in the month of Rabi' al-Awwal, in the month of Safar, the sin in the month of Dhul Qa'dah, which we are in, is greater, not doubled. It's one sin, but it is greater. When my friend says to me um, you're out of your mind so I can take this he's my friend but when my son says to me father you're out of your mind it's say it's the same phrase but with greater impact so this is different the doubling of sins and good deeds is not there but definitely the size is different and this is why scholars, for example, used to love to perform Umrah in the month of Dhul Qa'dah. Why? It's like any other Umrah. They said no, as Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, said that the Prophet performed all his Umrahs in Dhul Qa'dah. And a lot of the scholars like to perform Umrah in the beginning of the month. In the month of Rajab, some scholars used to love and recommend fasting it, though there is no authentic hadith but they depend on the fact that this is one of the sacred months. Of course, we know that Muharram, which is the first lunar month of the uh, uh, Islamic calendar, that the Prophet ﷺ highly recommended fasting it, even fasting it, all of it, because this is the best fasting after the month of 
Ramadan. So from these sayings and hadiths and evidences, scholars came up with the conclusion that the sins are heavier and more serious in the sacred months than other, the other eight months, and the good deeds are more valued and rewarded than in the other months, and Allah knows best.